Okay, we're on Icarian Way, Chester, West Virginia. Right down there is the bridge that takes you to um, East Liverpool, Ohio. Let me see if I can get there. That's the bridge that takes to East Liverpool. Um, we have a three unit. Um, there is um, a two bedroom, a one bedroom, and a one bedroom. Um, all utilities are included, so owner pays all the utilities with the building. Um, but this is one of the neatest uh, multi units I've ever seen. I'm going to show you why. It has one of those pools in the <laughs> in the um, basement area. It's one of those pools where you like swim against the current. I was told it works. Um, it is currently occupied uh, for the two bedroom. Uh, their rent right now is a thousand a month. Uh, so currently occupied. You have a double car garage. You have one right here. Um, and this goes to an old tool room. There's thousands and thousands of dollars in tools in there. Um, I'm going to show you what else. So besides the pool, there is a uh, um, an elevator in the back. That needs, they used to work, but the electric needs ran to it. I'll show you to you here since I cut across. Okay. So there's another house here. Right up here is the river. There's steps that go down, and there's like a multiple boat docks all in front of here. It's a really nice um, property. I was told stops right here on this back end. But what I like about it, um, it has an old workshop. So there is another garage back here. We got three units. This is an elevator. Tell me that ain't cool. Um, you run electric to it, to the, and you can get your belongings in if you're a tenant right to this sun porch up here so this garage they uh enclosed it in okay so we have a lot of uh a lot of room to cover so i don't want to make this video too long i like the pool <laughs> And the tool room. Like I said, there's so much tools in this tool room. Alright, so you come in. This would be your lobby. Uh, they do have cameras um, set up here for the uh, landlord. Okay, here's the first apartment. This gentleman lived here 20 plus years. Has recently uh, passed away. Um, so that, you know, a lot of this needs updated. Let's just... So utilities are all together, but um, some of these apartments have their own um, furnaces. That's that's pretty new. So there's a stand-up shower back there. Um, like I said, this needs updated. This gentleman lived here years and years and years and years. Um, so this one will need a light rehab. This would be your living room. Um, I have to double check. I thought it was central area, but I'll, I'll double check. Um, I don't want to misspeak. Yeah, little paint and carpet. Update the kitchen and bathroom. All utilities included, one bedroom, 800 all day. 
uh, plus you're in the nicer, nicer area. You could tell uh, he lived here for quite a while by the way that stove looks. Okay, so this is the garage that they enclosed. This used to be the outside of the building. Right here, this garage door opener still works. So this would be like your lobby, lobby area. Um, they, these steps go up to the, there's a two bedroom up there and another one bedroom. But the, the one bedroom you could call a two bedroom. You just have to walk through a room to get to a room. As a landlord, you're going to call, there's two two bedrooms upstairs. But um, on the realtor or the MLS side, it's just saying there's a one bedroom and a two bedroom up there. But I'm calling it a two and a two. This is stuff's new. Look, you also have this thing, you know, this low seat. Um, this is like your side balcony of the place we were just in. All this electric looks good and up to date, conduit. Uh, this is pretty neat. I was told this works. Uh, these are a lot deeper than I thought, but yeah, you want to swim? There you go. Okay, so this takes us out to the back that we were just looking at where the elevator is. This is the tool room. So, all this stuff comes with the property. There's another furnace in here. Okay, um, there's some antique, antique stuff here. But uh, back in the day, they used this for like manufacturing and metal work. Um, there's a lot of things I don't even, oh, you know what else is cool about this? There is a generator. This place is so unique, I love it. There is a generator <laughs> if your electric kicks off. Look at that. So that's ga gas or I think it's gas. There's oil tank in here too for the old. So your electric kicks off. You have to get this looked at. You got ventilation right there. Um, you you know you'll have electric no matter what. That's also something I don't see often. More of the tool room. Okay. So there's oil tanks in here. Um, I think it has something to do with the tool room. Plus there's an oil furnace back here. I don't think they use anymore. Um, so, I mean, if you wanted to, you could turn this into another apartment. It would take a quite a bit of moving to get your stuff out. You got a nice man saw right here. But yeah, why not turn this into another rental? Oh, piano. You got a gas hot water tank. Another gas. Well, this is propane. All right, so this isn't on. This is on. So you got a gas hot water tank. Um, I looked at the electric. Everything looks good. It needs the panel, but that's a 200 amp service. That's a uh, 60 amp. Maybe that 60 amp is just for the, the shop here. I don't know. Well, some sub boxes, all ram with conduit, all ram good. Okay, I'm not trying to take too long, but yeah, look at this. Washer and dryer hookups are in here. Um, well, yeah, I think the maximize your money um, would be to turn this back into a, uh, or it never was, but turn, turn it into an apartment. Okay, so now we're going to go upstairs. Nice wide steps when you're moving in and out.
Okay, this goes to the two bedroom right here. You got a night another heater up here. Um, so that's the two bedroom right there. Um, that's the only one we're not able to get into today. They're not home. We gave them a notice that we would uh, be in. Here's your elevator. That is neat. You don't see that often, but there's your elevator. Doesn't need work. So um, eventually I'll come back. Here's your power probably for your elevator. When I can get into this two bedroom and their home, I will do another video. I do have pictures available for for it right now. Okay. This is empty. Um, so all the appliances are coming with it. This kitchen ain't terrible. So all this stuff is coming with it. I mean, if you wanted to live here and uh, you know rent it out. Why not? We got an old heater system here. And we got more pianos and organs. Interesting. That up there was for an old train track. They had a train tracker ran all the way across the room. Okay, we have another furnace. I'm pretty sure that he was telling me this is the oil, might be the oil furnace. But as um, far as I know, everything is gas. Let's see if we got it. Okay, so well, we need a light bulb in here. This don't look bad. We've been on in a while, but it works. I always like showing you guys that this stuff works. All utilities are on, and owner pays all the utilities. Um, okay, so this is a one bedroom, but it's actually in my eyes, if I was renting this, I'd call this a two because you're walking through a bedroom to get to a bedroom. So in my eyes, this is a one, or I'm sorry, a two bedroom. Okay, I think that's about it. I'm to show you what we're looking at here. Nice neighborhood. Everything here is very nice. That's about it. Um, like I said, when I can get into the other uh, apartment, I'll come up and do another video. I do have more. I do have pictures of the two bedroom that we weren't able to get into. Like I said, they currently play a thousand a month, all utilities included. But um, you got any questions? Um, on this deal, you can reach me at or sorry, Key Real Estate LLC one at Gmail, um, and I'll answer any questions you have. Like I said, all util or all utilities are paid by the owner. Appliances are staying. Plus, you have a tool room. Um, you have options there to either just part it out and sell it, or maybe um, if it's possible, turn this into a four unit instead of a three unit. Um, I carry in way, Chester, West Virginia. Thanks.